Ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages, Coast Chal Hair, Dogs to Born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to this theme park trip preview. I'm so sorry it's late. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, it's a late one today. I really, really do apologize. I've had a lot going on this past few days, but I'm here. It's a late one, but we're here. The trip preview for the Alton Towers trip. The second day of the season. Uh, the, um, the second of the two days on opening weekend. It's still opening weekend, technically. Um, whether it's going to be as busy as it sounds like it was um, today, then uh, we'll see. Um, so we're going to go through some things that I'll be, I'll be looking out for on the trip, things we'll be watching out for, taking some footage of, things like that. Uh, so please like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you're new around here, click the notification bell to never shoot your video. Also guys, check the description down below for the social media links and the Google Forms link. And for now guys, let's get into this. So, first of all, the three new CBBS Land attractions for 2022. Now, obviously, I'm not the target audience, so I'm not particularly, you know, the ones you'd expect to go on these rides. But it is a new attraction. You know, it's you know, you know, it's part of what I want to do, part of the theme park journalism career I want to pay for myself. Um, it's a new attraction. We still got to review it. So if I've got time, I'll hopefully, fingers crossed, be able to get into these attractions and review them. Think of it as a family attraction. Think of it as a kids' attraction. What fits with the target audience? What do we think of the new re-themes of the of the previous attractions? Obviously, you got the Hey Dougie Adventure Tree Badge, which is a, a, a redo of the playground, the old Tree Food Tom training uh, training camp. Um, you've also got Jojo and Gran at Home, which is a refurbishment of Charlie and Lola, um, the Charlie and Lola attraction that was there. And you've also got Andy's Dinosaur Dig, which is obviously uh, a re-theme of Mr. Bloom Allotment. Um, so three new attractions. We've got some Lou Live shows in the Big Fun Showtime Arena. So, and, and a whole host of changes in CBB's land in terms of paint ups, overhauls, a new entrance portal. So, we're going to be seeing that throughout the day, fingers crossed, if we've got the time. Um, Smiler was running today, so I, I actually can't wait to get into Exeter and get on the Smiler, get on Oblivion, hopefully Enterprise. Got a brand new Retro Squad attraction in Exeter as well called Spin Jam. It's like one of those extreme fairground rides, the extreme rides. I've ridden some of those before, so if I get a chance, and it's, I, I, I don't think it'll be operating tomorrow, but um, in, on the unlikely occasion that it is, I'll get a go on it. If not, I'll come back later in the season. Uh, to get it done, but X Sector, from what I know, is back up and running, so uh, that is good news indeed. Um, Hex, that should be running. Um, Alton Towers Dungeon, pay extra for that, which is not bad. Uh, World of David Williams, a year, well, nearly a year old, so uh, again, that's going to be a nice surprise to see it a year on, see how. You know, a year's gone by, how it's been maintained, etc. Hopefully not a, a breakdown midway through the run. <laughs> like last time when we got on the first time on the Gangster Granny ride. Um, Flavio's Fantastic Fandango, that'll be part of Williams World again. So again, that'll be there. Dark Forest, Rita, 13. What is going to happen with them? Uh, Rita's obviously... You know, I wouldn't say it's on the chopping block, but I'd say that a lot of fans would believe it could be next on the chopping block for major attractions. So, um, you know, we'll see how Rita rides. You know, is it time for it to go? Does it ride like it's time to go? Still pulling in the queue, so is it still a popular attraction, etc.? Um, so this should be nice. Uh, going to Forbidden Valley. Forbidden Valley is the big one for me on this trip. We've got Wicker Man and Mutiny Bay to come, etc. But uh, Forbidden Valley for me is one of the main things for this trip because... You know, this will be my final rides, or one of the times I'll get the final rides on the original Nemesis, the 1994 track uh, that's been painted up. It's been, you know, kept well for this time. But we're getting towards the refurbishment stage. Obviously, it's, it's pretty much confirmed now that Nemesis is going to get a refurbishment at some point soon. Um, more than likely, we're predicting 2024 reopening uh, for, its, for its birthday, for its 30th birthday. And um, the work will probably take place over 2023, in my opinion. So uh, this year will probably be the last year we'll get to experience Nemesis um, as it, in its original form before the retracking and everything else gets done to it. Um, obviously, Galactica's down there as well, so it'd be nice to get a ride on that. Um, you've also got um, 
the nemesis of terror site which has been had a lot going on, having a lot of work done to it people are saying it could be a new scare maze for scarefest uh, a bit weird the work's starting already on that if it is scarefest but uh, i'd much prefer if it was a the return of subterra of some sort uh, that would be nice um Obviously, Katanga Canyon and Gloomy Wood. Good nice to experience that. The River Rapids. Hopefully, the waterfall's back on for that run. Uh, the Runaway Mine Train. See how that's uh, nicely looking with its new lights in the in the uh, exit queue. Um, obviously, Jewel. Obviously, the, the actual original haunted house is turning uh, 30 years old today. Uh, well, this season. So, you know, obviously, it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, Jewel and what's happened to it. You know, has there been any additional changes? Has there been any alterations with the ride, etc.? Um, you know, Jewel's been one of the rides for me that's been next on the line for a refurbishment of some kind. So, uh, we will see. And, of course, finally, Mutiny Bay. You know, we all love Mutiny Bay, do we? Nice new paint tops, nice new... Uh, alterations with Mutiny Bay and of course Wicker Man, getting back on Wicker Man, the GCI wooden coaster. Uh, apparently on a one train service because they're still maintaining the other two trains. So uh, we'll see if it's the situation, same situation tomorrow, but um, it, more than likely it probably will be. Uh, but there we go. Obviously the Sky Ride, the monorail, get some nice footage of them um, and all that jazz. Boom shakalaka. Uh, but there we go. So a lot to look forward to on this Alton Towers trip. The Retro Squad or some of the Retro Squad coming back. Uh, a new Retro Squad ride. Uh, Williams World one year on. The new change in CBB's land. The paint up. The TLC around the park. Uh, final rides on the original Nemesis. Uh, for the first time this season. For, 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 for you know Possibly the first time last time this season. Uh, with Nemesis. But uh, yeah very excited indeed. But there we are guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. Click that case bell so you never YouTube video. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. If you are down there tomorrow, I will see you there. My name is Coach Chow. Keep living the coast life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an altantastic day. See you guys there.